so good morning uh, again and welcome back to the class of user interface design so uh, in this class we'll start begin with web guidelines and style guides so uh, web interface design issues have also unleashed a plethora of web specific design guidelines and style guides many of which are found on the web itself so if you search on the web uh, you can find hundreds of uh, design guidelines which you may follow um, in the last previous class we just gone through some of the guidelines uh, provided by the government for uh, indian government for indian government websites okay there are uh, many departments uh, of indian government and every department has got its own website okay so similarly the private organizations uh, may follow their own guidelines so there are guidelines set by uh, ww or uh, google or ibm you can follow any one of their guidelines uh, today many uniquely web standards and guidelines are evolving by trial and error method okay so things are being tried to see what works best uh, okay the de facto standards are being established when an overwhelming majority of big sites focus on one way to do something okay so how exactly the guidelines are made when uh, many people start using uh, certain uh, okay uh, guideline or certain style then it becomes a guideline okay that is what basically it is done through a uh, trial and error method uh, if everyone starts liking that so many other websites also follow the same okay so the next is document design it includes the checklists to present principles and guidelines so we have already seen i'll show you again so this is a checklist okay so these are uh, the, the the guideline these are the checklist for example so these are the, this is a checklist okay so um, provide a rationally for why the particular guideline should be used again there should be a reason why that particular guideline has to be used provide a rationally describing the conditions under which various design alternatives are appropriate so under uh, for for your website uh, if if that particular guideline is not suitable then you can use uh, some alternative guidelines or alternative style okay then include <coughs> concrete examples of correct design so rather than just uh, Uh, talking uh, um, okay in an abstract way just try to provide some examples so that the users can understand design the guideline document following recognized principles for good document design okay provide good access mechanism such as a thorough index a table of contents glossaries okay and checklists so first one is checklists and rationally we have just uh, gone through that provide the checklists uh, uh, for representing key principles uh, okay key principles and guidelines checklists permit ease in scanning ease in referring to key points and make a document more readable by breaking up long sequence of text so what is the advantage of using the checklist is if first thing is you don't have to go uh, go through the long text okay where you may forget the information so if there is a checklist and if you take a print out of that then you can just go on checking 1111 so once one guideline is okay uh, is satisfied then you can put a uh, okay right mark on that checklist box then concrete examples to be effective a guideline must include many concrete examples of correct design so so many people just talk go on talking in air and if someone asks them give give the perfect example uh, they they can't so, so instead of just uh, talking in air everyone has to give a perfect example so that i mean uh, uh, demonstrate a perfect example so that users can follow that then document design and access always design the document be it paper or electronic by following recognized principles for good document design so just uh, don't neglect this uh, okay uh, i mean part of uh, uh, okay the software development that is document design is is very very necessary then uh, 
design support and implementation the first one is available references uh, reference sources so use all the available references uh, reference d uh, design source uh, in creating your guideline so that is what exactly i have just now i shown you this is uh, that is how uh, the even uh, the indian government has listed various uh, references so you can just uh, follow any one of these references so you can see here a perfect uh, markup validation service so like this uh, okay so the next one is tools use tools that support uh, i don't know here just just one minute okay sorry use tools that support implementation of the guidelines you have established use tools that support implementation of the guidelines you cannot simply uh, go on giving the excuses that i don't have a uh, tools to comply with those guidelines so you have to have those tools so that uh, okay whatever you develop should be in compliance with those guidelines then applying the guidelines two questions often asked are it is too late to develop and implement standards the first question and what will be the impact on systems and screens now being used okay so, so i have already uh, designed half okay, i mean uh, half of the system is already designed and now if someone asks me to follow some certain guidelines so the first question i'll i'll ask you i'll ask them is is it too late to develop and implement these standards okay that so the second question is what will be the impact on the systems and screens now being used so whatever uh, screens and impact um, and screens and systems that are currently being used whether we they have to be remodified or reconstructed based on uh, um, these guidelines or is it okay to use the same the next one is system training and documentation needs the first one is training system training will be based on user needs so if the user uh, is already acquainted with good knowledge about the system then he may not require any sort of training if he is a novice user or inexperienced user or if he has not used a similar uh, kind of uh, system then definitely he may need a, uh, a prolonged training i mean uh, uh, training for more number of days based on user needs system conceptual design system uh, learning goals and system performance goals etc training may include such tools as formal or video training okay well, formal training in the sense you can go to their workplace and give them the presentation or you can use you can go to their work workplace use the system itself to demonstrate them or you can use the video training like what we are doing now or manuals can be distributed or online tutorials reference manuals quick reference guides and online help can be provided so there are many ways to train the users myth is the problems can be handled with documentation and training so then the documentation is system documentation is a reference point a form a form of communication and a more concrete design words that can can be seen and understood documentation again plays a very important role uh, if the user doesn't understand something straight away he can go to the documentation and understand what what problem he is facing okay so that completes the second module uh, thank god so uh, in the next class we will uh, start with the third module okay thank you thank you very much